Do you know what time it is? It's virtual story time here at the Keller Public Library. I'm Ms. Kelly and I'm going to read the stories today. If you have one of our story time to go bags for this program, inside you'll find some fun things to help you follow along in the stories and rhymes. If you don't have a story time to go bag, that's okay. You can still have a lot of fun with us today. If you know my special welcome song, I hope you'll sing it with me now. Welcome, welcome everyone. Let's read a book and have some fun. And though we may be far apart, know that you're still in my heart. And we're together here online. You can smile, you can smile. It's story time. Great singing. Today's stories and rhymes are about one of my favorite cool summertime treats. Ice cream. Do you like ice cream? I love ice cream, especially when it's so hot outside. I like ice cream so much, I'm going to teach you a song called, Do You Like Ice Cream? It goes like this. Do you like ice cream? Do you like it in a bowl? Do you like to eat it fast? Do you like to eat it slow? Do you like it with some sprinkles or some nuts up on the top? Do you like ice cream? Will you sing it with me this time? Let's see if we could do it a little bit faster. Do you like ice cream? Do you like it in a bowl? Do you like to eat it fast? Do you like to eat it slow? Do you like it with some sprinkles or some nuts up on the top? Do you like ice cream? That was good. How about one more time, even faster? Do you like ice cream? Do you like it in a bowl? Do you like to eat it fast? Do you like to eat it slow? Do you like it with some sprinkles or some nuts upon the top? Do you like ice cream? Whew. That was fast. Well, let's look at our first book today. Our first book is called Just One More. And it's about a little girl named Ruby who likes a lot of everything, even ice cream scoops. Check it out. Just One More by Jennifer Hansen Rowley. Ruby was always asking for just one more. Just one more minute. Just one more hair thingy. Just one more sip. And just one more ride. Ahem. Just one moment, please. Okay then. Just one more wish. And, uh-oh, splat, now Ruby has none. So Ruby, how about just one? She picked her favorite. Just one toy in the tub. Just one book before bed. <laughs> and what's this? Just one more kiss? Okay, Ruby. 
just one more. Again, again. Mmm. The end. That was a fun book. What did Ruby learn? Well, too much ice cream isn't so good. Let's build our own ice cream cone. We can make it as big as we want because we're not going to eat this one. How many scoops are here on my board? Count up with me. One, two, three, four, five. Five ice cream scoops. That's a lot. What order should we put the scoops in? Hmm. Oh, I know a fun rhyme that will help us decide. When you think you know what color I'm going to put next, shout it out, okay? Oh, here is some ice cream, the best in the town. So many flavors, but first, chocolate. Brown. The second's the creamiest I've ever seen. Let's scoop some ice cream that's minty and green. The third scoop is yummy. The best some may think. Let's scoop up the ice cream that's strawberry pink. The fourth flavor isn't nearly so mellow, so tart and so sweet. It's lemony yellow. A popular flavor is fifth. What a sight. On the tippy top, we'll put vanilla that's white. Oh, it's incomplete. Before we can be fed, Let's top off our treat with a cherry that's red. Did you get all the colors? Well, what do you think would happen if we kept adding scoops like Ruby? Hmm. Next, I'm going to re read you a poem from a book called Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. And the poem is called 18 Flavors. Take a look. 18 flavors, 18 luscious, scrumptious flavors, chocolate, lime, and cherry, coffee, pumpkin, fudge banana, caramel, cream, and boysenberry, rocky road and toasted almond, butterscotch, vanilla dip, butter brickle, apple ripple, coconut and mocha chip, brandy, peach, and lemon custard, each scoop lovely, smooth, and round. Tallest ice cream cone in town. Lying there, <laughs> sniff on the ground. That poem was a lot like Ruby's ice cream book, wasn't it? Next, we're going to learn what a pattern is. A pattern is when you have a repeated order of the same colors or shapes or numbers. When you find a pattern, you'll always be able to tell what comes next. Let's look at the ice cream cones on my board. I've set up each row in a certain pattern. And if we say the colors out loud together, we'll be able to find out what the pattern is and what comes next. Blue, pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, what? The pattern is blue, pink. And what comes next? Blue, that's right. Let's finish the pattern. Let's do the second row. Pink, blue, yellow, pink, blue, yellow, pink, blue, what? 
The pattern is pink, blue, yellow. And what comes next is yellow. Good job. Let's finish the pattern. Okay, let's look at the last row and see if we can get it. Blue, yellow, pink, pink. Blue, yellow, pink, pink. What? The pattern, this one's tricky, is a pattern of four. Blue, yellow, pink, pink. Blue, yellow, pink, pink. And what comes next is the start of our next pattern, blue. Did you get that one? That one was kind of tricky. Well, if you want some more practice, inside your story time to go bag, you'll find an ice cream pattern play sheet and some palms to help you complete it. Then at the bottom, you can draw your own ice cream pattern with all of your favorite flavors. If you don't have a to-go bag, it's okay. Just take a blank sheet of paper, draw a, your own pattern with your favorite flavors. Let's read another book. This one is called The Ice Cream King, and it's about imagining a whole kingdom made of nothing but sweet, sweet ice cream, ruled over by Billy, the Ice Cream King. Let's read. The Ice Cream King by Steve Metzger with pictures by Julie Downing. On a hot day in July, Teddy Jones saw something that stopped him in his tracks. Look, Mom, he exclaimed. It's a brand new ice cream shop. Can we go in? Can we please? Sure, said Teddy's mom. It's called the Thrill Chill. Inside, Teddy looked at all the flavors on the big board. Can I have anything I want? He asked. Just for me? Yes, said Teddy's mom. Anything you want, just for you. As Teddy tried to decide, the server put a paper crown on his head and... Wow! That's awesome! Teddy thought. My mom said anything. Upon my throne of ice cream cones, I am the ice cream king. Ice cream treats are all I see. And they're all for me. Inside my ice cream castle, I slide down chocolate halls. I pick out rainbow sprinkles from mint chip ice cream walls. I slip and slide down whipped cream lane, then climb up ice cream mountain. I splash and dance and spin around beneath my ice cream fountain. I blast off in my spaceship up to the ice cream moon. I zoom past ice cream meteors. I'm glad I have my spoon. Aboard my silver sailboat, I sail an ice cream sea. I fish for nuts and cherries. They're all for me, me, me. My very own volcano shoots out vanilla fudge. Today's the ice cream festival, and I'm the only judge. I think there's something missing as I look around my throne, and suddenly I notice that I am all alone. I dance and slide on ice cream, I can even wear it, but it would be much better with somebody to share it. Teddy took off his crown. So, have you decided? asked Teddy's mom. Yes, he said. Please, 
give me a banana split with strawberry and chocolate ice cream and lots and lots of hot fudge and whipped cream and sprinkles and 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 asked Teddy's mom and asked the server and Teddy said two spoons the end wow do you think that he would want to live in an ice cream kingdom maybe Maybe? I'm not sure I'd want to live in an ice cream kingdom, but I am sure that I enjoy sharing ice cream with my family. And this is my daughter, Coco. Hi. And we are going to show you how to make ice cream in a bag. Ice cream in a bag. Uh, you don't need anything other than a few simple ingredients, some ice and some rock salt to make ice cream in a bag. If you have a story time to go bag, you will see the ice cream in a bag recipe inside and hopefully your grown up will let you make some ice cream in a bag. So let's see if it works. Um, we're going to use a little bag to put the ice cream ingredients in and we're going to use a big bag to put the ice and the rock salt in. So let's start with the ice cream ingredients. What do we need for ice cream? One cup, half and half. A cup of half and half. This is half and half. It's like milk. It's half milk and half cream. But if you don't have half and half, you can use regular milk, whole milk, or you can use heavy cream. Um, if you use milk, your ice cream will be a little bit thinner. If you use cream, it will be thicker. So we're going to pour one cup of half and half into our bag. What's the next ingredient that we need? Two tablespoons of sugar. Two tablespoons of sugar. Okay, so there's one. And two. Two. Two tablespoons of sugar right into the bag. And what's the last ingredient? One half, one half teaspoon of vanilla. A half of a teaspoon of vanilla. So let's see which one says one half teaspoon. There's a quarter teaspoon. One half teaspoon of vanilla. Of course, we're making vanilla ice cream, but do you think that you could make other flavors? Yeah. How? By using chocolate or strawberry? Yeah, whatever else you want to put in there to flavor your ice cream, you can put in there to flavor your ice cream. So we're gonna make sure that's all we need. Three ingredients, that's pretty easy. So we're going to make sure that our bag is very tightly closed because it could spill. Yeah, we don't want the ice cream to leak everywhere because we're going to be shaking it up a little bit. So I'm going to double bag it too. I just make sure that's really closed really tight. And then I'm going to close this one really tight too. Okay. Now this is all we need to make our ice cream. Next we're going to get the big bag ready with our rock salt and, and our crushed ice. Crushed ice, yes. Okay, so we did put some ice in here. Can you tell them how many uh, cups of ice we put in? Three cups crushed ice. Three cups of crushed ice works. Crushed works the best, but cubes will work too if that's all you have. But this is the most important ingredient. What is this last ingredient to make the ice cream? One third cup rock salt. Okay, rock salt. Do you guys, have you ever used that before? Do you know what that is? Sometimes people call it ice cream salt. So it's really important to put the rock salt in with your ice. If you do not, do you know what will happen? It'll be all melty. It will be, they will not make ice cream. It will stay milk, okay? Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is we need to dump the rock salt in there with our ice. Okay. And now we're ready to start making the ice cream. I'm so you think it's going to work? I think it is. Okay, so all we do is we put our ice cream ingredients filled up into our bag inside of our bigger bag of ice and rock salt. And what, what the rock salt does is it lowers the freezing temperature of the water, of the ice, so that it gets really, really cold. A lot colder with ice on it, than, uh, a lot colder with salt in it than it does without. Okay? So 
So this is the fun part, or the work, I don't know, uh, however you view that. But we're going to do just some shaking. And we're going to shake this bad boy for, <laughs> how long does it say? Squeeze bag until ice is thickened for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, it says 10 to 15 minutes, and that's plenty of time for us to cut back to the craft for today. So I'm going to show you the craft while we shake. Okay, you also might want to have a towel handy because this bag is going to get really, really cold. <laughs> so it might help you to have a little towel so your hands don't get so cold. Check out the craft and we'll come back to see if the ice cream worked. <laughs> Inside your story time to go bag, you'll find some things to make your own ice cream cone. You've got a sheet of paper with an ice cream cone and a happy little face, and some cupcake liners. If you smush them out flat and pile them on top of each other, you can build your own ice cream cone. Here's the one I made. I drew some fudge sauce and a cherry on top. But if you don't have a story time to go bag, you can make your own ice cream cone. What are the two shapes you need? What shape is a cone? Triangle. What shape is a scoop? Circle. So if you can draw a triangle and a circle, you can make your own ice cream cone. Make one and send it to me either in the comments of the video or by email, library at cityofkeller.com. I want to see your favorite flavor. Okay, guys, as you can see, I magically had two more children appear here because they weren't very interested in helping me make the ice cream, but they seemed very interested in helping us eat it. <laughs> so, do you think that this worked? Okay, so of course the longer you shake and squeeze the bag, the thicker your ice cream will get. But let's see how this one turned out. Let's see what happened here. Okay, if we... Our bag is of course very wet and very cold. What happened to our hands? They got, they got numb. They got numb. Oh my really goodness. Thick. Let's see. Did it work? Do we have ice cream? Is it good? Whoa, look at that. We oh, made it. ice cream. Yes, okay. It. But, you know, do you like ice cream? Yes. Do you like it in a bag? Uh, no. <laughs> Well, that's the great thing about this recipe is you can eat it from a bag if you want to and then nobody has to do any dishes. But we also like to put some things on our ice cream. What do you like on your ice cream? Cookies. Chocolate syrup. Cookies. 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 Chocolate Hello. syrup and sprinkles. So um, let's start piling everything up together. Well, we dumped our ice cream from the bags into the bowls. As you can see, it turned out very nicely. Yum. How does it taste? Delicious. Good. Delicious. And of course, we wanted to enhance our ice cream with lots of Toppings. Toppings. delicious toppings. What did you top your ice cream with? Cookies, chocolate syrup, and sprinkles. Cookies, chocolate syrup, and sprinkles. What did you put on yours? Exactly the same. Exactly the same? I didn't put any cookies because they were not left. They ate all the cookies. Syrup. And I just like a little bit of syrup on mine. No sprinkles for me. Okay, you guys. Enjoy your ice cream. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs>